Welcome Virgo, we'll be looking at what it is that you need guidance with um, and getting these messages from Spirit using postcards from Spirit, Grace cards and Osho Zen Tarot. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so we would like one postcard from Spirit for Virgo, please. Would you like to say to Virgo Spirit? There it is. Okay, let me pick this up from the floor. Okay, Virgo, here we go. Dearest you, do you know how much we love you and want to help you? We are here for you. And we hear you ask for guidance, but you must let go and let us help you. You don't have to do it all. You've done your part, now let us do ours. You would be all struck if you knew how many strings were pulled through the matrix to give you what you need and desire. Spirit has a plan, and when you sign up, to be a co-creator, you need to remember to allow the partnership. It's not one-sided. Your desires and plans meet up with those of spirit. Remember though, spirit's timetable and ideas of how things will play out may be quite different from yours. Trust us. Spirit's ideas are amazing. Now let go and let us do the magic. Pay attention to other areas of your life and before you know it, a miracle will have taken place. We love you so much. Wow. Oh my gosh, that is the most beautiful card. Look at that. Look at that. We love you so much. Beautiful. We'll read that at the end. Okay, let's see what else comes out for you here, Virgo. It's really interesting because I kind of see you in the silence, not really expressing what it is that you're asking for or talking to anyone else about it, just silently praying, silently wishing, silently hoping. But the thing is that you are heard. Whether you realise it or not, you are heard. Okay, so what have we got here? First card out is receive. And the next one is choice. And then the last one here is trust. Oh my gosh, Virgo, this is great. Okay, so when we open ourselves up to others, we open ourselves up to the abundance of the universe, yes. And I just want to say here, when we're talking about others, I feel like first and foremost, this is spirit, right? You're, some of you may not believe in that. This is the thing, but it's understanding, you know, everyone hears of miracles happening in their life. How do you suppose that happens? It's not by chance. You know, these things are divinely orchestrated. Like, there's... So much that goes on that um, just trust, you know, do the trusting, be open to receiving, try it, just try it, see what happens, ask for something little to begin with and let them deliver, let them show it to you, let them in. Okay, um, we have here, right, I feel like here Virgo that um, there's this possibility 
for you to break out of the norm of your life. You know, it's, it's sort of like there's an expansion ready to take place in your life. And it's about you actually becoming part of the expansion in your life. It's almost as though there's one piece that is missing and that is actually you. And I, that might not be quite spot on. It's not that you're missing. I feel like it's the awareness or the consciousness of your ability to make that happen that is missing. And whether it's because you don't believe it will happen for you or you're just not aware, I'm not too sure that could be different for, for all of you. You know, for the different scenarios are going to work for different people because it's a general reading, right? But I feel like what's actually occupying your mind at the moment is a lot of stress. There seems to be a lot of distractions happening in your world. And so I want to suggest here that you take time out, even if it's just five minutes to begin with, take time out to really sit with yourself and be conscious of spirit being around and hearing your wishes, hearing your dreams, hearing your prayers. Source. This is the source, right? To me, source is what other people may refer to as God or whatever it is that they believe in. Even if you don't believe in anything, it's a higher power. You know, something something bigger than us. Something that we may not necessarily be able to see, but that is there. <clears throat> the creator. This is also us. We create our own world, right? We can make it whatever we wish, right? But it's up to us when we want to step out of the cage in which we hold ourselves in and fly. That's in our control. That's up to us. And it's interesting because this comes underneath this card here. And so I feel as though there's this energy about you which is taking you away from the truth of who you are, from what is important in your life. Because these other cards here have a different energy about them than these two, you know. So I feel like Virgo, sometimes it's like you put on this face to show the world that, yeah, everything's cool, I'm sweet. Whereas inside it's like this, this firing rage that is consuming you. It may not even be rage, but it may just be frustration. You know, that you wish everything could change, everything could be different, but it's like, how do I even make that happen? And this is where this connection with spirit and your guides and your angels and who, whoever is in your team on the other side who is conspiring to make your dreams come true, that you connect with them. Yeah? Connect with them and be receptive. Be receptive to them getting everything in order or at least helping you and giving you ideas to get everything in order. And this is why it's important to take that time. Take at least, like I say, five minutes. Take the time to go within even, do you know what I find is in the shower, it's a really good cleansing time. And I sometimes get my most um, um, clarifying ideas or clarification in the shower because it's washing your energy field and it's clearing things out for you to bring new things in. You can also imagine that the water is white light falling down on you and clearing your energy field so that you can bring in the clarity that you are seeking as to which direction to go in or whatever it is that you're trying to um, 
work out in your life. Ask for help. Ask for help because the help is there. But it can't come in until you ask. Okay? Choice. For every action, there is a reaction. Choose wisely. Yes, I love this because with this projections card, like, you know, when we show that frustration or that anger, um, that there's going to be a reaction to that. So it's choosing wisely how you want to um, present yourself to the world, what energy you want to vibrate out, what words you want to speak. Choose wisely. Take a moment, take a moment or even five before you deliver anything out. Is this what I want to bring back to me? Because ultimately, that is what is happening. Okay, so let's have a look further at this. See what else this has to say. And I, I suppose, you know, when they're talking about, you know, you've done your part and now it's up to them, It's also about maintaining that part. So, you know, if you've put your wish out into the world, it's remaining in that vibration rather than getting frustrated and thinking, why isn't it here yet? I asked for this ages ago and it's still not here. You know, that can create resistance and send a, a, different, um, a different frequency out. Okay. I'm going to take that card there. Righty ho de ho de ho. What have we got here? Beautiful. Wow. This is beautiful. Look at this. Look at this. This is an absolute blissful way of being, way of living. For some of you, this is about you coming together with another in a loving way. But I actually feel like overall it's about coming together with others in a loving way. Rather than in this way and from this place, coming together from a place of beauty, calmness, ready to give and ready to receive. Oh, Sorry, I had to sneeze. <laughs> you probably saw that coming. Um, anyway, you've got, you know, this new beginning here, which is um, ready to be created. And I feel like, yeah, Virgo, this is something that is going to last forever. This new beginning that is about to take place in your life or is taking place in your life or that you are trying to create in your life is one that is worth putting the time into to create as a solid foundation. Okay, yeah, look, look at this, yes. This is about you leaving behind what it is that you do not need and only taking with you what you do need. And I love that this has come up, especially with this trust card here. You know, taking this leap of faith and just going in the direction of which you lead, which what your heart leads, right? Some of you are having trouble making the choice. Some of you are hanging in the balance and going, I really don't know which way to go. You just kind of need to make the decision because from what I'm seeing here, you can't go wrong. Spirit has got your back. Whatever choice you make, it's not going to be wrong. Okay, stop fighting it. Stop resisting. Take the armor off. There's there's a sense of feeling like you need to protect yourself. But you you know, there's nothing to protect yourself from anymore. I feel like the only thing that you'd be protecting yourself from is yourself. And what's happening when you're doing that is it's not allowing spirit to do what they need to do because again there's this resistance being sent out okay so heal that part of yourself that feels like it needs protection that feels like it needs to put the walls up that needs to battle okay heal that part of yourself that is sending out these projections that feels stressed that feels like everything's going to crumble at the drop of a hat 
and embrace this energy of being supported, of being cared for, of knowing that the universe is working in your favour. Okay? Trust. The more we follow our intuition, the more we'll find that the right doors open to assist us in fulfilling our life purpose. Perfect. And that is 100% true. Right? Go with your intuition, your heart. This here, your mind is going to absolutely mess everything up. You're going to go, okay, yeah, I'm sure. I want to go in this direction. This is what I want to do. And this is where I'm headed. No doubt about it in here. And then your mind will come in with that. Yeah, but what about this? And what about that? Remember that time that you tried that thing? And then this happened and that happened and it didn't work. And you start to doubt. Let those go. You know, this is your ego. Yeah, this is your ego coming in and saying these things. So here's what I want to say to you, Virgo, about that. Let your ego know, thank you. Thank you, ego. I know that you're trying to protect me. I know that's your job. If you wouldn't mind taking a seat over here for a moment while I just get this sorted. And if I need you, I'll call on you. If the place is about to catch on fire or burn down, let me know. And I'll definitely listen. But right now, I just need to take care of this. But I hear you. I hear you. Thank you. Yeah. Step into your power here. Okay. Step into your power. And let your heart and your intuition lead the way. Okay. What have we got here? Mm. This is, I feel like there's this, um, need for you to bring everything in that you have, everything positive that you can work with, your intuition, your instincts, um, spirit, right? Um, anyone else in your life who can help to make um, your, you know, what it is that you're planning to come to fruition. Bring all that in, okay? I feel like this here is representing the ego and this is exactly what I was talking about. You know, the ego is not nasty. Um, it's just there to do a job. But it does really mess things up. And it can be deceiving. You know, some of you are actually afraid of being deceived. Um, and some of you may not actually trust yourself. Let alone anyone else. Let alone spirit. So these are things that when we're looking at the healing here, that need to be healed. Okay? Need to be let go of to trust okay we have turning in here very interesting because i feel as though there's this um first of all there's a foundation that can be built here for you like i was saying before that is going to last a lifetime okay and it's about you getting all the um, things in the right um place right lining up it's like building a house Okay, getting all the four corners, all the sticks in there. Sticks, that's not how you build a house, but you know what I mean, right? Laying the foundation so it's solid. Everything is where it's meant to be. Everything is evened out. Okay? So that that part is done. Turning in. When you feel like this is creeping in here and overtaking things and misleading you, turn in. Go within, listen to this. Come out of here and drop into your heart. Allow these two to work in conjunction with one another. So that your, your, your mind knows that the heart has its own, its own life force and can lead the way and trust in that. Because the mind at first will tell you that you can't but it's important for you to trust your heart because your heart 
is where your soul speaks from. So let it lead. Consciousness, look at this. This is a new truth, a new way of being, cutting out all the rubbish that goes on up here and just being and leading from that space, like I have already said. And I love that this has come up because this is reiterating that, okay, Yes, see, this could very well be in a new relationship for sure. Be aware, though, here, Virgo, be, be aware of, um, of opening up your heart. Okay, you can't go into something with a closed heart, with the armor on. It's not going to work for you. Okay, it's about you opening up and stepping out, showing the true you. Some of you don't even like who you are, or some of you are afraid of someone seeing that even. But this is about you loving that and bringing it forth anyway. Okay, for some of you, this is something that is going to lead to marriage. Something that is, is definitely divinely orchestrated. It was meant to be. Okay, whether it's a relationship or, you know, in work, whatever, apply it to your situation as it fits. But, yeah, there is something very, very special here going on. And um, I feel as though it's important for you to honour this here, Virgo. Okay, so I'm going to read your postcard from Spirit again to reiterate what they would like for you to do. Dearest you, do you know how much we love you and want to help you? We are here for you and we hear you ask for guidance, but you must let go and let us help you. You don't have to do it all. You've done your part. Now let us do ours. You would be awestruck if you knew how many strings were pulled through the matrix to give you what you need and desire. Spirit has a plan. When you sign up to be a co-creator, you need to remember to allow the partnership. It's not one-sided. Your desires and plans meet up with those of spirit. Remember though, spirit's timetable and ideas of how things will play out may be quite different from yours. Trust us. Spirit's ideas are amazing. Now let go and let us do the magic. Pay attention to other areas of your life. And before you know it, a miracle will have taken place. We love you so much. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it, Virgo. Okay, I'm going to leave that with you. Take care of your beautiful self. See you. Bye-bye.